Hi everyone, I'm Brian Friedman. Welcome back to Uncork Life. And today we're going to Spain, to one of my favorite places in the country, Toro. And we'll actually be tasting quite a mouthful of a wine here, uh, both in name and in flavor. At least I'm expecting, I haven't had the 06 of this bottling yet, but I'm expecting it to be a pretty big, reasonably dramatic wine. I love these guys. It's produced by Bodega Nomantia Termes, and this is their Toro Termes bottling, 06. Again, like I said, it's a heck of a mouthful. Maybe a better idea to try pronouncing it before you have that first glass. It is 15% alcohol by volume. Now, while I'm pouring here, we'll talk a little bit about this wine. Uh, it's 100% Tinta de Toro, which is the uh, local name for the Tempranillo grape. But what makes this wine so interesting is that, first of all, the vines themselves are over 30 years old. But because of the sandy soils of Toro, they're actually ungrafted. So this means that they're being grown on their original rootstock. They didn't have to graft them over. Uh, phylloxera was never really an issue here. So, really interesting wine. This is actually the value price bottling from these guys. They do make the, the step up. Uh, let's call it their main bottling. It's their uh, Toro Numanthia. And then their super high-end one, which is their Toro Termanthia. Uh, by the time we get up to the Termanthia, we're talking about well over 150, 200 bucks, perhaps even more for certain vintages. So this one right here, really, really good value. So give this one a shot. Mm, I mean, on the nose, it's just really ripe, beautiful, crushed, dark berry fruit, little bit of vanilla. I mean, it's not overwhelming. It's really well integrated, but man, I mean, this is... It's a big wine, but it's not over the top. It hasn't, I don't know, a lot of times bigger wines, they almost seem to be dumbed down a touch. Um, but this one really does seem to have all of the parts, uh, at least on the nose. They're playing well together so far. Wow, I mean, there's a little bit of dried sage in here, and there's certainly some cedar. Uh, it's just the slightest touch smoky, but not too much. It's still a really fruit-driven wine, but not a fruit bomb like you might be assuming. Wow. I mean, this wine... No, I'm going to say it again. Wow. This wine, um, the fruit, again, is incredibly ripe and yet the tannic structure is still there. It's a mouthful. I want to chew this wine. It's big. It's dramatic. Amazingly enough, it carries its 15% alcohol really, really well. Now, this screams out for food. This screams out for something grilled or barbecued. But I'll tell you what, uh, once I shut off this camera, I am going to be finishing this glass, possibly another one on its own. I mean, it's still a quaffable wine, even though it does scream for food. It's showing everything that I'm loving about Toro, and especially, in this case, the price. I gotta have another sip here. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just spectacular. Now, I would say this is still young. It could really use a good stint in the decanter. It could use a couple of years in the cellar. Also, I'd warn you about drinking a wine in this style or this particular wine too warm. I just pulled this one from my cellar. So right now it's about 55 to 57 degrees. If it were too warm, that alcohol would come out. We don't want a red wine to be too boozy, obviously. Well, maybe you do, but I mean, you know, that's for a whole other purpose. But truth be told, great wine. Um, I'm going to actually lay down my other bottle for a couple of years. Maybe we'll come on back and taste it next year, possibly the year after. But remember, Toro, source of spectacular wines in Spain these days. I know it's tempting to just think of Rioja, just think of Ribera del Duero, and these are wonderful places. I absolutely adore the wines from all over Spain. But perhaps some of the lesser known places, like Toro, like Priorat, which is certainly getting more well known, but not quite as much as the big names, again, like Rioja. Um, great place for wines. Explore Spain, the values there, the qualities there, and honestly, it's great drinking. Until next time, thanks for stopping by. I'm Brian Friedman. Cheers.